In the upper left hand corner of the touch screen, you'll notice a number. This number is an indicator that shows which source you're connected to. The touchscreen has the capabilities of connecting up to four sources. By simply swiping your finger, you can switch between sources 1, 2, 3, and 4. You may also go into Setup and select it manually by selecting which source you'd like it to connect to. Source number 1 is the default setting. The touchscreen has an off button. When you touch the off button, it turns off the backlighting of the touchscreen. If you have an accessory that's on and you touch the off button, the accessory will still remain on. If you'd like to turn off the accessory that is turned on with the off button, hold the off button for one and a half seconds. That will turn off all your accessories. Touch the upper left hand corner to wake it up. The touchscreen comes with a safety feature to disable the flash and strobe functions. You can toggle between those functions by touching the on or off road button. To activate it, program a switch feature to that button, turn it on, toggle to the off road and you'll notice that that function will appear. Highlight it, that switch will now be activated in that function. You can disable it by turning it back to the on road position. Not only are the switches customizable, on each switch on the lower portion right hand side shows you how many amps that each circuit is pulling. This option is only available on Bantam systems. The temperature gauge shows you the temperature of the circuit board. Safe operating temperature is 20 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This is our battery voltage monitor. This tells you how many volts your battery is at. Touch the setup button to access the setup screen. In this screen is where you could customize any of your eight switches. Simply by selecting the switch you want to modify, which opens up another dialog window. From here, you could type in your text or characters as needed. This button here gives you access to your switch features for strobe, dimmable, momentary, and flash. The lower portion of the screen will show you what switch you're programming. To create a master switch using the link feature, highlight the link button. Select the button that you'd like to be the master. Next, select the switches that you want linked to the master switch. Once finished, turn off the link button, go back to the home screen, try out your master switch and you'll notice that it, it activates the switches that are linked to it. The switches still will operate independently of the master switch. If you want to unlink those switches, you just go through the reverse process. Unlink the switches that are linked to it, go back, and it's done. In the setup menu, you could use the intensity button to adjust the light levels of the background lighting of your touchscreen. If you touch the intensity button, it turns to the timer adjustment. This is where you set your background timer for when you want to go to sleep. Go to iTunes Store or Google Play and download the SPOD Bantam app. As soon as it's downloaded, do not open it. In order to pair your touchscreen with your smart device or your tablet, highlight the pair button. It will give you 90 seconds to pair up with it. The reset button is used to reset the pin number that the touchscreen has. Start the Bantam app, select the setup button, then hit scan. In about 5 to 10 seconds, it's going to list any of the S-Pod Bluetooth enabled devices. When the list appears, select touch screen. At this point, hit cancel. The six numbers that appear in the upper left hand corner are the numbers you're going to put in. A new dialog box should open up anytime. This is where you enter the six numbers. 
type them in, and hit pair. At this point, you should be paired up with your touchscreen.